दिस इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलिस पार्ट टू फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इलेक्ट्रोलिस ऑफ एक्वस एन ए सी एल यूजिंग प्लेटिनम इलेक्ट्रोड अगेन यू नो प्लेटिनम इलेक्ट्रोड इनर्ट इलेक्ट्रोड नाउ एक्वस एन ए सी एल गिव एन ए प्लस साइन सी एल नेगेटिव एंड एक्वस मीन्स वॉटर दैट गिव एच यू प्लस आइन्स एंड ओ एच नेगेटिव Again, compare part of Na plus and HCO plus. You know, HCO plus will gain electron, and we get half of H two gas plus H two liquid. And what about Cl negative and OH negative? You know, Cl negative ion has lesser discharge potential so cl negative ion lose electron so give half cl2 gas plus electron it is at cathode and this is at anode now come to the next part if we are using mercury as cathode then what would happen so see the change here in this case when we use platinum electrode then h3o plus has lesser discharge potential but when we use mercury as cathode then sodium positive has lower discharge potential than h3o plus and sodium will gain electron to give sodium and in the presence of mercury it forms sodium amalgam sodium amalgam in aqueous solution it give sodium hydroxide half of h2 gas and mercury in case of dilute nacl it is just like only h3 plus sign will gain electron to give half h2 plus h2 liquid and at anode oh negative ion loses electron to give plus 4 in the electrolysis of h2so4 first case at low current density you know h2so4 give h plus ion and so4 two negative ion water will give h3o plus and oh negative these are the ions from h2so4 and these are the ions from water again at low current current density out of h3o plus and h plus cathode h3o plus would gain electron to give half h2 gas h2 liquid and at anode oh negative ion will lose electron to give 2h2 Plus four electron. Now, when current density is high, high current density at fifty percent H two SO four. In this case, at cathode reaction remains same, but at anode H two SO four negative ion loses electron. to give h2 s2 o8 plus 2 electron and this h2 s2 o8 when distilled with water give h2 o2 like first it is hydrolyzed to give h2 so4 plus h2 so5 and then h2 so5 give h2 so4 and h2 
to O2. The structure is like this. This is peroxo disulfuric acid, also known as Marshall's acid, and when it is treated with water, it will give H2SO4 and H2SO5. This H2SO5 is peroxo monosulfuric acid, also known as Caro's acid. Electrolysis of RCONA using platinum electrode. You know, this is always electrolysis. In this case, we have RCO negative and Na plus, and from water we have OH negative and HCO plus. So at cathode, reaction is simple. Electrode is of platinum, so obviously H3O plus gain electrode. Now at anode. Tell me, out of RCO negative and OH negative, and keep in mind RCO negative has lower discharge potential. RCO, RCO negative loses one electron to give RCO dot, which in turn give this is called free radical or alkyl free radical, and two alkyl free radical combine together to give an alkane. So, overall reaction is. RCO negative to loses two electron to give alkane plus two CO two plus two electrons.